Tinkerbell channel here. How are you guys doing? Welcome to your love reading. Aries, I just want to start by thanking you so, 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 so much for all the support you guys are giving me. I have received so many um, sweet comments, you know, um, very empowering messages from you guys. And I just can't even like express how happy that makes me feel you know I am a big Aries fan and I asked you guys for support and boy didn't you give me yes you did and I'm so thankful you guys subscribed you liked my videos and I'm gonna be always grateful guys thank you so much I just wanna say I'm very flattered because as I said I really love your sign oh wow look there are cards already jumping for your love reading queen of pentacles good start um as i was saying i love your sign you go you know i can only imagine what is must be to be the cardinal sign of the fire elements right that's you cardinal the kicker the oh look at that queen of pentacles and now queen of cups Ooh, aries um yeah i mean what a powerful sign you guys are you know like you are the kicker you are the leader you're the cardinal on the fire elements there and you know fire is all about passion about confidence about you know being noticeable getting getting you know manifesting so i can only imagine what is it to be you it must be wonderful anyways here we go um oh ten of swords all right so here we go let's get started here aries so we got queen of pentacles queen of cups and ten of swords as is starting here on your reading today um it could be that hmm the queen of pentacles here is being tempted to get some um investment or more commitment on this relationship you could also be dealing with some uh earth sign uh taurus virgo and capricorn and then right after we got her sister here queen of cups which could be pisces scorpio or cancer okay uh and also the queen of cups are also is also receiving here a gift from her little fellow Dolphy. Okay, this is the before tarot. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm using two decks, the before and after that uh, tarot today, which gives a lot of nice elements for you for your reading, because you're special, Aries. Mwah. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the reading, and so we have. As you know, when the queen shows up in a reading. Uh, queen always, it's a sign of abundance, you know, um, and then it goes on the specifics of infertility, and then it goes to the specific of their uh, elements uh, and suits. In this case, um, usually I tell you guys that gender, it doesn't matter which gender you uh relate yourself to you identify yourself with when a queen shows up it doesn't necessarily means a woman uh, even if you let's say you identify yourself with a female uh, gender doesn't mean that because it's a um, queen that it means a female or means you on the relationship it just means that it's the female part living inside of you now that's preeminent here or of your love interest too so 
try to think about these cards more like an energy other than a person, okay? Uh, so it could be that you, Aries, also could have the elements of earth or water on your chart, right? On your astrological chart. So there's that as well. And this could be you. Or this could be your love interest, um, either earth or water or uh, earth or water elements on their charts. Again, don't get too, too like um, stuck on the signs, okay? Mm, but if by any chance they do happen to have that sign, then is a a good red flag for you to watch even close, closer more or, or like how this will resonate to your story also cross watchers i know i keep saying amazing things about airs but you are absolutely welcome here okay uh understand that i may be calling airs a lot here but i may be picking up on your energy and maybe as well be you when i'm talking okay try to really abstractly Put that information and see how it resonates for you. And so to me, this is saying that a build, some amazing offers are happening in this relationship. Either you, Aries, are giving those offers to your love interest or your love interest is giving those offers to you. Um, and it's offer, they are offers of love lot of love and offers of uh, more stability and commitment on this relationship so someone is thinking about offering something like that or it's just getting in, into a more committed state and more involved emotionally on this relationship there's a lot of love a lot of also physicality too a lot of uh Ooh, sexuality is really on on the peak here on top like it's you guys have a lot of attraction for each other and a lot of love as well but I'm afraid this may not be for all of you but for some of you this is either about to end or has already ended so um so for a group of you, this is not, this is just actually uh, going to get even stronger, the relationship. But for a group of you, as soon as you made, you perhaps demonstrated that you wanted something more or you wanted more from the relationship and from the person, they, you felt like they were not on the same page and you almost feel like you're about to be stabbed on your back. So it was kind of like a stab on your back. Like it doesn't seem like it was retributed the way you expected. Or, you know, perhaps they wanted that from you and you, you perhaps didn't retribute the way they expected. Could be that too for some of you guys here. So, because as you see, again, this is another before tarot here. This is the Ten of Swords, and it's air. And um, this guy is about to get in a... You see, there's like a, a, some people conspiring here to, to basically kill him, right? Stab him on the back. Yeah. So, let's see what else. Is, what is... What is that? This is really means. All right. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, sorry. <laughs> seven of Cups. Well, Seven of Cups is the card of um, choices, kind of surprises, many, many things to choose from, okay? In this case, it's already uh, the seconds after the regular tarot. So it looks like the person has already chosen what they will do. Okay, so I think this is what it's trying to say is that um, perhaps this is happening right here. 
like perhaps the person decided, you know, one of you guys wanted more commitment and more, you know, deepened the, these feelings. Uh, and actually, it's not that you wanted, it's just the natural way that things were going, right? Looks like things were going really well, so we're getting more serious, more love, more investment was being done. There was an amazing physicality between you both. And so that probably caused a lot of anxiety too, right? The more you have something, the more you kind of value that thing, more anxious we get, right? We're afraid to lose it. So that caused someone to maybe even think about how to deal with this or perhaps even ending it, which... But it doesn't mean that will end because this is the moments before. So it can be that the, you can like avoid the Ten of Swords to happen. Dodge the bullet. Okay? So, but no matter what, we don't know if it's the Ten of Swords is going to happen or not. But the decision has already been made. Um... Let me try to clarify. This is getting a little bit confused, right, Aries? I know. Yeah, so what is the Queen of Pentacles for Aries? Please clarify. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries. I'm going to leave this one right here for now. Can you please clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries? Okay, here. All right, okay. Nine of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles have been or has been um, clarified by Nine of Pentacles. So, who? Okay. So, as you see, especially on this card here, look, she's kind of surprised by this offer of more commitment or offer of more investment. You see, it's not like. We're not sure if she's happy about it or not. Because she's a, is a snake as well, offering. So she's like, wow, what? And um, it's being clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. Which tells me that this Queen of Pentacles here may be thinking a lot about this offer. Maybe she's not the one making the offer. Because she's very content at as where she is right now this is the minutes after here or she's single and she has manifested a lot of wealth she's very good she's confident she look she's very satisfied with her life so perhaps and this is also you know the pentacles is a is a card of stability is a card of as i said earth which doesn't like to move a lot, likes to stay still, stay where it is, right? Um, and if it moves, it moves very, very slowly, okay? So perhaps if there is one part of this relationship that could be going too fast for this queen, maybe that's why she may be entertaining the idea of ending it. Okay, uh, wow, yeah. So let's go ahead and see what is the Queen of Cups. Please, Spirit, please, please, please clarify. It's been a little confusing this reading for Aries. What is the Queen of Cups? Okay, two cards for clarify the Queen of Cups. I'll take it. Thanks. Oh, the Empress. Wow. Huh. Wow, the Empress. Oh my God, it's a lot of feminine energy here, guys. A lot. The only masculine energy I see is the Ten of Swords here. So far, it's all very feminine energy. This is abundance. This is fertility. This is love. This is a mother. A lot of earth. More earth here. More stability. Um, so the Queen of Cups have has have been... Is, clar is being clarified by the Empress, meaning uh, 
yes, looking for stability, looking for abundance. It's very rich, like this reading. It's bringing a lot of, it's nurturing, love. It's a beautiful reading. I, I guess we are going to need clarifications for this Ten of Swords. That's the only thing out of sync. Oh my God. And the Emperor right after? I promise you guys, actually, I left your reading to the last this time. Um and I have been shuffling these cards over and over and over again. And I never got in all my readings this, this season, uh, all, this month. All, the Empress and the Emperor. And I was just saying how this energy was getting a little bit too feminine. Like, and here's the Emperor and he's looking towards her right now. This tells me also, I can see... I can see Capricorn here in Aries, okay? So, yeah, you, ha, 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 <laughs> you're here, Aries, <laughs> okay? So, basically, um, this tells me that this could be a soulmate, soulmate energy here, big time, or twin flames, wow, okay? Okay, so now we're the Queen of Cups, which means a love on the nicest way possible, receiving a gift, and then it's clarified by the Empress and the Emperor. Really, do I even need to read this to you guys? <laughs> huh? You're being abundant and stable and in a very rich situation, meaning not only financial, right? You, you're probably like... This means more like um, uh, in the relationship wise, you know, wealth is not only money, it's health, it's love, it's family, it's all those amazing things that we all look for. Uh, okay, so let me figure out what is the stand of swords here. What is this Ten of Swords here? Please clarify, Spirit, with clear message because this is getting complicated. Okay, Seven of Wands. Mm, yep, it's what I said. Okay, it's what I said in the beginning. Oh my God, I'm so glad I had a good intuition for you. Yeah, Seven of, of Wands, guys. I always see this card as the... PTSD kind of card, right? Post-traumatic stress disorder. And it's the person that gets really defensive when something really nice is happening to them. Um, like, almost like because they have been hurt so much that they are always being defensive. So even if someone tells you, wow, you your hair looks pretty today, they go like, why, you mean that yesterday it wasn't? You know, instead of taking the good thing, it's almost like the person is just very defensive. And it's not even funny. We have to respect a lot someone that goes through this because they, they're just like that because they hurt so bad in the past, right? So it's just with compassion and patience that we can understand and try to put yourselves on their shoes. Whoever's with this attitude here is the one almost like the situation is so beautiful for you both that almost someone was sabotaging the happiness okay um and they probably are feeling like they're jealousy around you you guys they feel like people are jealous around you guys that people are conspiring to kill you, this love so they're becoming a little paranoid. They are like attacking people that even try to just help you guys in this relationship. So, you know, um, so one of you guys are being a little bit too defensive. So whoever is in this relationship that's acting this way needs to calm down a little bit because... Uh, because it can make things much worse, okay? I'm gonna 
I'm going to just clean up this energy with the Palo Santo a little bit, okay? I just had this feeling that I, I should do this for you, okay? Because it's so beautiful, this reading. This doesn't need to be happening. I think if you can identify who is the person that is being defensive this way, they're, they're acting in a, from love, though. That's what is crazy. So it's just because they love so much. It's just because the situation is so beautiful, right? Look at the high irony. So they can actually end up ending all this um, before it even starts. I mean, before it even launches. So I feel like if you're able to have a conversation or if it's you, Aries, who is acting this way, please open your eyes, open your third eye, I mean, open, yeah, try to be aware of what is happening inside of you and why little problems are being created where they don't have to be because look what abundant, rich life both of you can have together. These are just amazing cards. I don't think I ever got such a strong cards all together like that. Okay, and even here on the a little few minutes later tarot, even on the choices that the person had, look what a nice ones they chose. They chose all the jury and okay, the, the snake, the serpent is around, but that means uh, the symbology of serpent, uh, of a, a, a snake, it's a transformation, which is pretty good symbol. Um so I guess what it's trying to tell us here is that to use this energy here of fear and almost self-sabotage, self-destruction here to transform in, in jewelry, like in something much better, you know, in, in like try to focus on the amazing things that it, it's in here in this relationship other than you know, like fear or little things or fear that people are, seems like one person here is like really thinking that people are gossiping, that they are lying, that they are plotting. Let me see, what is the advice for Aries or, okay, too many in, in this face now, so I'm going to put back here. What is the advice for Aries? I only need one card, please. What is the advice for Aries? What is the advice? Okay. Okay, see? See, four of pentacles. Absolutely. To not hold too tight. To not be so, so... This is also paranoid. Holding so tight on what you have, like, it's because it's such a beautiful energy, I think you both never experienced something like that before, you or the other person you're dealing with, it, one of you or both, never experienced such a connection, such a physicality is amazing, the love is amazing, it's really, really rich, like, it's a soulmate connection, you, and you may be holding so, so tight, that's going to, destroy because it's blocking the natural way and flow that things should be it's actually you know backfiring instead of go with the flow and understand how beautiful this love is and allow more wealth to come in be even more confident and grow and both of you can grow on your journey because that's our soulmates are for too when they meet and they are together to grow together spiritually no, you're getting too attached to material even things, like tiny little things that are not important. Okay, Aries? So, so I think I'm going to leave it is now, Aries. And um, thank again for your support. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for being here. If you can give me the thumbs up, I appreciate. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Even if it didn't resonate with you this time, there will be a time that will, okay? Just be patient. That's um, how it goes. And thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next reading. Bye.